If you're playing a first person shooter game, your frame rate is one of the most important things that you need to keep in mind. My name is Udullah, you're watching Candidor Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix FPS issues in Valorant. So if you're looking to increase your FPS in Valorant, the first thing that you need to do is uh, head over to the game settings, to video and uh, just start lowering settings here. Uh, the first thing you should start with is actually not the resolution, it's the graphics quality. Because lowering resolution can have negative impact on how the game looks. And while it does give you an FPS boost, you should really treat it as the last resort. Um, as we're here, uh, if you have support for multi-threaded rendering, enable it. Otherwise, Material, Texture, Detail and UI set all of this to medium or low depending on your PC settings. Uh, you don't need uh, VSync, especially if you're not on good hardware. So turn off VSync uh, and the vignette setting as well. Then comes your anti-aliasing settings and all of these uh, bloom, distortion, experimental sharpening. Turn all of these settings off. Uh, you can also drop down your level of uh, anti-aliasing or you can just set it to none to save on RAM. Um, it's a good idea to show client FPS so that you have keep an eye on what your frame rate is. And then here are some settings that limit your FPS. So as you can see, I have set the max, to, max FPS always to 144, which is the refresh rate of my monitor. Um, we also have limit FPS on battery. Uh, I wouldn't recommend playing Valorant on battery if you're on a laptop. But in case you do, uh, you can choose to not limit FPS on battery. This will consume more power, but should uh, let your game run in a better manner. Um, other than that, uh, you can drop your resolution to something like 1280 by 960 or 1366 by 768. Uh, this will significantly improve your frame rate, but do keep in mind that this will also impact how the game looks and can make text a little bit jarring to read. Other than that, what you can do is uh, you can head over to your desktop, um, quickly open task manager and take a look at your system resources. So let me just bring task manager in. So as you can see, my CPU is being taxed right now. Uh, it's also because I'm screen recording, but just go through this list and close any programs that are using memory in the background and uh, are not actively contributing to Valorant running. So something like your browser or in my case, like Slack, things like that. So the more resources you have available for Valorant, the better the game will run. Uh, and last but not least, always make sure that your graphics drivers are updated. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can uh, go to the system icon tray, right click and head over to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And uh, if you have any driver updates here, as you can see, if this loads up. Yeah, so you can just check for updates. Uh, as you can see, I have a game driver update ready. So you can check for updates and make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date so that you can always have the best performance possible in game. So optimizing your settings for Valorant is very important when it comes to FPS. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website Candidor Technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.